Obala for mezzo soprano and um, piano uh, is a result of an impromptu effort. Sometimes in 1998, uh, it was written specifically for Yemila Dubai now, Yemi Oyedeke, and um, it was composed two days to its premiere at um, the Trenchard University of Ghana for the Music Circle Christmas concert for 1998. Uh, similarly, in the following year, uh, it was the magnificent voice and the music uh, pastor of uh, the great baritone singer, Chico Yaparando, a good friend, now Chico Mangos, that inspired the uh, praise meditation. These two works, Obama and Praise Meditation, are products of my very, very early creative efforts as a bicultural composer, uh, having been exposed to uh, a great deal of um, repertoire in the classical idiom. I, I was at a point, I was uh, seeking a different uh, uh, compositional language that would reflect my Africanism, my uh, my environment, my immediate environment, basically. Uh, the musical thoughts for both works are firmly rooted within the confines and the language that define the Western classical idiom, especially in terms of structure, in terms of the pitch language. Um, uh, the the textual component is what speaks to the other half of the bicultural nature of the work. The Yoruba text with uh, original tonality uh, preserved. However, in terms of execution, the degree and the nature of biculturalism in this work uh, differ. Uh, for instance, in Obala, the main accompaniment is quite notoristic triggering dance and body movement. It goes something like this. Uh, it sits firmly within the principles of uh, African pianism as conceptualized and authored by the great composer Akin Yuba. But it was not until 2004 that I had knowledge, that I acquired knowledge of this principle. So I guess I must have used this as a function of some sort of uh, creative intuition. I mean, I, of course, I have grown up in the African community. <laughs> On the other hand, the accompaniment for praise meditation invokes a very contemplative aura without adhering whatsoever to uh, the principles of African pianism. So both works function within the same theoretical framework but with different creative results.